Conclusion For the first half of our careers, prior to meeting, falling in love, and becoming husband and wife, each of us was dedicated to building our respective organizations in the only company either of us has ever represented. For the past six years, we have striven diligently to be goodwill ambassadors for the entire network marketing industry. Our colleagues understood our desires to elevate the stature of our profession. Even our company president has encouraged us in this endeavor. We've been honored to speak at a number of conventions. Other MLM company presidents, such as Richard Brook, have allowed us to coach their best leaders. Many of the very top money earners of our industry have attended our college certification course, which was founded at the University of Illinois at Chicago by Dr. and Mrs. Charles King and us several years back, with the cooperation of their innovative dean of business, Dr. Paul Zelding. It's now being taught internationally. As industry-wide consultants and advocates, we've learned much from those with whom we work. Recruiters in traditional business are called headhunters, but we learned early on that network marketers must be heart hunters. Attempting to build this business by stealing distributors from other companies is patently wrong, given the structural integrity of the network distribution industry. Our philosophy has always been to find a good company and stick with it. Don't become an MLM junkie. Not once have we solicited any single distributor away from another company, although many unknowing distributors have asked if they could join us. If a networker has joined a solid company with a proven track record, then we strongly encourage him or her to remain with that company. We feel blessed to have stumbled into this profession many years ago. Not only did it give us the time and financial freedom to do exactly what we want, but it also enabled us to meet each other and build a life together. Our professional goals for the coming decade include writing books beyond our industry. Mark has several book projects underway, including one on achieving self-wealth, updating one of his father's previously published works with modifications for today's audiences, and his most prized project, A Love Story. Rene has been working for over a year on a self-help book based on various aspects of her own life experiences. However, it is within the MLM industry that we intend to continue to place our greatest energy. We hope to further elevate the stature of our profession through public appearances, major convention speeches, consultations, and education through books, tapes, and the media. In light of this, we would like to ask you to join us in converting our remarkable industry from a job into a profession. There are a few things you can do to help us make this happen. First, let's all resolve to stop bad-mouthing each other's companies. We are all in this together, and yet we seem to be the only profession in which, whenever there is a danger or a challenge, we circle our wagons and fire inward. Networkers often cooperate with regulators and journalists in an investigation of one of their competitors and rejoice in their demise. In some cases, MLM corporate leaders actually testify as government witnesses against their competitors. And sadly, some are not guilty of being pyramid scams. It's merely a way of hurting the competition. Distributors sometimes act as if by denigrating others, they somehow elevate themselves. But that isn't the result. So, first and foremost, we ask you to please join us in adopting a simple philosophy. We refuse to badmouth our colleagues, other distributors, and other companies in the field of multi-level marketing. If you won't write it down and sign your name to it, then don't say it. The other side of the coin, and there always is one, is to quickly report any pyramid scam as soon as you have legitimate proof that people are being ripped off to the Direct Selling Association and the Federal Trade Commission. And if the concern you have is with your own company, don't just sit back. Take action. Contact the top leader in your upline. If you can, call the president of your company. Do everything in your power to stop unethical activity wherever you find it. Try to replace the problem with a solution that will make you proud to represent your company. And if all else fails, walk away.
Once we understand that success stems from uplifting our own companies and products rather than destroying the reputations of our MLM competitors, that is when our industry will become the most lucrative in all of free enterprise. One of the outcomes of our university course, in which representatives from many companies spend a long weekend together, is that our students realize that those companies they may have been denigrating are made up of real people, special people, with whom they have just shared a very meaningful experience. In that environment, we've seen hundreds of networkers resolve to stop reputation-slamming practices. Second, create your own short presentation specifically designed to educate audiences about the obvious differences between illegal pyramid scams and legitimate network marketing corporations. Then, go to your local chamber of commerce and obtain a list of all clubs and organizations. Make an appointment each month to speak to at least one local club or association as an ambassador for our profession. Not only will you help the industry change its image through education, but, in the process, you will obtain numerous prospects for your own downline. The general public simply doesn't understand our industry, and most journalists and media broadcasters do not cover stories about the positive truth of network marketing, because only sensationalism and negativism sell newspapers and increase ratings. In their own words, good news is no news. Third, purchase everything you can through MLM companies whenever possible. If your own company does not yet sell a product you need and want, find out which network distribution company distributes it and contact them. If you don't know a distributor personally, be sure to call their corporate headquarters or you'll have to endure a recruiting pitch. However, we've found that once you make your intentions clear, once they realize you are only interested in representing your own company, they will respect your decision. Let's all stop buying inferior products and services at stores and through catalogs and start utilizing our own distribution channels. As one of our contributions to the industry, we have also begun a closing and motivation line that you or your prospects can reach by calling 1-900-PROSPER. Instead of spending $3.99 a minute for recorded astrology, psychic messages, and dubious sexual conversations, why not invest a dollar forty nine a minute in your future success? Any prospect who calls this line and doesn't sign up immediately on your front line is brain dead. And any despondent distributor who's on the verge of quitting and calls this line will probably give it another good year. Some of the folks who called our previous nine hundred line once a week we're so upset when we canceled it that we opened this new one permanently. We may update it periodically, but it will basically remain the same, and will simply be there for you whenever you need it for yourself or your prospects. It's the only MLM motivation line that is generic and actually turns around the negatives for the most ardent cynics. Proceeds fund our prisoner reform program. Finally, just go out there and make us all proud to be in network marketing. We have the opportunity to make a difference in our world. And the beauty of network marketing is that it doesn't have to happen in grandiose ways. It occurs one by one by one as we touch the lives of other people. Because of the exponential growth of our industry, before we know it, we will have transformed the spirits of hundreds of millions of people. If you have enjoyed this book, please give it away to a few people you know, and maybe they will pass it along to a few more people. And before you know it, we may find ourselves in an industry that is capturing the largest global share of the personal care, household, nutrition, health, telecommunications, environmental, educational, and personal development markets of our world, just to mention a few. Network marketing is here to stay and we predict that over the next decade and well into the 21st century, our industry will be noticed for two things. One, for its sound marketing strategies, and two, for the sensitivity and integrity that people within the field show toward one another. D. Hawk, the founder of Visa, had a vision that led to his success in the trillion-dollar credit card industry. Similarly, network marketing is on the brink of explosive growth in the next century. 
To quote D. Hawk, whom we so admire, we are at the very point in time when a four hundred year old age is dying and another is struggling to be born. A shifting of culture, science, society, and institutions enormously greater than the world has ever experienced. Ahead is the possibility of the regeneration of individuality, liberty, community, and ethics such as the world has never known, and a harmony with nature, with one another, and with a divine intelligence such as the world has never dreamed. We believe that network marketers will help to make this dream a reality, and we consider this book merely a first step in that direction. In fact, as we literally edited these final words, the ink hardly dry, we were introduced to a new concept that is the culmination of decades of research into human empowerment and peak performance. Leaders in the cognitive sciences, like Dr. Albert Bandura, President Emeritus of the American Psychological Association, and Steven Pinker, Director of the Center for Cognitive Neuroscience at MIT, have documented the fact that human destiny knows no limits. This bold new world of highly technical academic research suggests that the key to unlocking the inherent potential within everyone may lie not in the mere acquisition or competency tools similar to the ones presented in this book, but in a more cognitive personal change. These visionaries suggest that self-efficacy, i.e. having the power to produce certain effects within oneself, combined with competency development, i.e. promoting the specific skills necessary to accomplish a given task, may be the true key for unlocking the power within us all. And according to them, both proficiencies can be learned and duplicated. Although we have but scratched the surface of these cutting-edge techniques, we have been sufficiently intrigued to join with other leaders from several countries in the formation of a synergistic think tank consulting firm called 21st Century Global Trust. Together, we are meticulously exploring this body of evidence in order to create a blueprint for enhanced performance, with the goal of helping millions of network marketers rise to their fullest potential. For we believe our industry, in which the barriers to individual greatness and personal empowerment have been lifted, is the last bastion of free market capitalism. We are an infant industry, and the only reason we still exist, given the challenge empowered individuals pose to big government, is that we developed our profession too rapidly for the professional ruling class to seize control, though many of us have suffered from their past attempts. As an industry, we must not only quadruple our membership in the next decade, but also employ strategies that will empower grassroots participants to prosper as meaningfully as our top 3%, those of us who have achieved the financial and time freedom first envisioned by our founders. We believe that empowerment giants like Lou Tice and Dr. Bandura are absolutely correct in their assessment of the positive benefits of techniques that combine mastery of task performance with exercises in self-efficacy. And we intend to create and launch programs that will capitalize on these new mental applications. We all stand at the dawn of a fresh millennium, caretakers of a bold, new, limitless profession, one that can bolster economic freedom throughout the world and create a beautiful and worthy future for our grandchildren. But we must demonstrate in the 21st century that a much larger percentage of people who join the ranks of network marketing have an equal chance to prosper in our profession, and we now believe that the tools needed for such widespread prosperity are within our grasp. Currently, 3% of the MLM population earn over $93,000 per year, and 56% earn less than $6,000 per year. It is the middle 40% that we believe we can and must reach. Our commitment to you as industry advocates and leaders is to continue to research, analyze, and simplify the newest scientific and academic advances in human potential enhancements, then implement easily duplicated strategies designed to unleash the peak performance of those who would entrust their futures to network marketing. For too many years, the human outcome has been mediocrity, but we believe that network marketing, given its lack of boundaries and limitations, 
affords each of us an exhilarating future of unprecedented opportunities. We are incurable optimists, and you can rest assured that you haven't heard the last from us, because, as we all know, your first year of network marketing is only the beginning. This concludes your first year in network marketing. Please visit our website, www.tantor.com, for more information on our growing library of unabridged audiobooks and to take advantage of special offers. Or call toll-free 877-7-TANTOR to request a catalog.